As you're traveling the highways across California, you may not think much about it, but many people are responsible for that road under you. People designed it, built it, and maintain it, all so that you can get to where you need to go. In this video series, we visit those people and the transportation projects they work on. Welcome to On the Job with Caltrans. Hello and welcome to On the Job with Caltrans, California Department of Transportation. I'm David Anderson and you know California has many spectacular beautiful sights but we need your help to keep California clean. I'm sure you can't go a mile down the freeway without seeing trash and litter alongside the road. And litter not only is an eyesore, it's also a safety concern. A safety concern for you as a motorist and also for the Caltrans workers who pick up litter alongside the freeways. We were curious if people realize just how much taxpayers spend every year on litter cleanup along the highways and freeways. So we thought we'd ask. So how much do you think it cost taxpayers in California last year to pick up litter and trash off all the highways in California? 500,000. A million dollars. I don't know, more than 50,000? I mean, a lot. A lot, I assume. 2.5 million. 10 million? Last year alone, Caltrans picked up nearly 10,000 garbage trucks full of litter. If you put them end to end, it would stretch 50 miles. Wow. $52 million last year alone. That's how much it cost the taxpayers to pick up litter and trash and garbage off the highways. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Litter removal is a major priority for Caltrans when it comes to keeping our highways safe, clear, and clean. And today, we're gonna meet some of the men and women of Caltrans who are out there working hard to keep the highways clean and clear and safe for everyone. And we're also gonna hear about some of the programs that Caltrans offers as far as litter prevention, the Adopt a Highway program, for example. I'm here along a busy freeway with uh, Wendy Davis. Wendy, thanks for joining us Hi, today. Dave. Where does all this trash come from? It usually falls from an, an unsecured load from a vehicle or um, by careless motorists throwing stuff out the, 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 their vehicles. Throwing it out there, out their cars. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. What is the most unusual item you've ever found discarded uh, alongside the freeway? Keep it G-rated now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that was a hot tub that came flying off of a vehicle. It was unsecured on the back of the truck, and uh, that was the most unusual thing we came, uh, came across. I cannot imagine what it would be like working alongside the freeway and seeing a hot tub coming at you. Yeah, yeah. You know, the most important thing when you're hauling something uh, in your vehicle uh, is to make sure that that stuff is um, secure with the tarp, bungees, or whatever, because it can be pretty darn dangerous out there. Well, Wendy, thanks very much for joining us today, and, Thank and thanks you. for the great job you guys do keeping Thank the roadways you. clean. Thank you very much. Austin, thanks very much for uh, joining us today. Yes, no problem. Dave. You know, Austin, you've been out here working for years. You worked on freeways, picking up trash and debris. It's got to be a dangerous job. Have you ever had any really close calls? Yes, I have had some close calls. We were actually on the highway working, me and a couple of my crew members, and we experienced a minivan trying to stop, hit the attenuator, and smashed it all the way back. She veered back into the lane. Before that happened, I actually noticed the glass coming in front of my face, oh and my I just oh, wow. dropped all the way back to the oh. sound wall to get out of the way. Austin, is there anything you'd like to say to the motoring public uh, you know, about working alongside the road? I hope you please pay attention to the signs and what when we're out here, giving us a lane would be most appreciative. We would really like that extra lane so we have that comfort as well. It's good to have you here safe, yes. safe and sound and yes. doing a great job. Yes, 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 thank you. Well, joining us now is Andy Morse. Andy is in charge of the Adopt a Highway program for uh, Caltrans. Andy, thanks very much for being here. Thank you. And you know, this is truly 
a worthwhile program. It's, uh, you know, it saves taxpayers millions of dollars. It's all volunteer. Uh, people pick up litter. Some government programs are not as popular as others, but this, this program really is, is a win-win for the public and for the state of California. So talk a little bit about it. Since 1989, the Caltrans Adopt a Highway program has provided an avenue for individuals, organizations, or businesses to help maintain sections of roadside within California's state highway system. To date, more than 120,000 people have participated in the program, which helps to keep state highways safer, cleaner, and more attractive. In fact, Adopt Highway volunteers save taxpayers approximately $16 million a year. $16 million? Yes. A year? Yes. Wow. It would also be interesting to know that uh, our volunteers and participants do more than just pick up litter and debris. They plant trees and wildflowers, uh, remove graffiti, and control vegetation. And if someone is interested in getting involved in the Adopt a Highway program, how do they do that? Well, it's a good thing you asked that, Dave, because we need everyone involved to keep California clean. Please visit our Adopt a Highway website and click on the logo for more information or call the number on your screen. We need everybody to do their part to keep California clean for residents and visitors. Andy, is the Adopt a Highway program just for organizations? No, individuals can do it too. You yourself can adopt a highway, Dave. Adopt a highway? It seems like yes. a pretty big <laughs> commitment. I don't, I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Maybe I could just be a surrogate father. Uh, I don't think we have any programs for that, Dave. All right, well, I'll think it over. Thanks for joining us. Thank Andy. you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm here with Trent Manning. He is the statewide litter abatement program manager for uh, Caltrans. And Trent, tell us in a nutshell, what do you do? Uh, being the program manager for litter abatement, uh, I, I manage the litter abatement uh, budget. The most important thing that I can do is uh, I try to reach out to the public and, and get them to understand you know, uh, the consequences of when they litter out in California. Well, you know, as obviously litter is a big problem here in California. Tell us about, uh, what about the economic impacts and how does litter affect the environment here in California? Litter has a huge impact on, on uh, the economy. Uh, Caltrans spends lots of money every year picking up litter. And in fact, last year, Caltrans spent $52 million to remove litter. It clogs drains. Yes. It also contributes to roadside uh, fires. Very bad impact on our water quality and also the the wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just it's it's, just dev bad, it's devastating. Bad all around. Now, uh, what do we do with that's what with what's collected out here? I mean, if you find an empty pizza box, I'm sure we just dispose of it. But if you if you find uh, something valuable, what, what do you do with that? Um, Caltrans treats everything that they pick up as litter except if it has a value of more than ten dollars. If, uh, if, if, if we find something out here that has a value of more than ten dollars, uh, the department um, holds on to it for 90 days to see if anybody claims it. Uh, if nobody claims it, then what we try to do is we try to give it to the local law enforcement. Let's talk a little bit about the danger here that these workers face when they're out here picking up litter. I mean, cars are whizzing by just feet from us, 60, 70 miles per hour. If it's kind of the equivalent of being an office worker and having your desk yeah. right next to the freeway. Tell us a little bit about the danger. This is probably one of the most dangerous environments to work in. When our men and women are out here working on the highway, they are in danger. And, uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but um, the department loses, on average, two employees a year to motor vehicle accidents. So, I mean, it's a very dangerous environment. Um, you know, and so one thing we want you to do is to go ahead and, when you're hauling something, you know, secure your load properly. You know, don't throw your trash out the window. Right. Somebody out here has got, you know, has to pick it up. Yes. Whenever you see, um, you know, our, our, our people working out here or an emergency vehicle, you know, you want to move over, slow down. It's the law. Well, that's a great message, Trent. And thank you very much for, uh, for joining us today. Thank you. 
So the next time you're driving one of the freeways in California, you may be hauling trash, you have litter in your car, just make sure that trash is properly secured and wait until you can properly discard of the litter. You know, here at Caltrans, we are doing everything we can to keep the highways clean and safe, but we need your help. It's going to take everyone to make sure the roadways are clean and safe in California. Until next time, I'm David Anderson. Thanks for watching On the Job with Caltrans, and remember, please don't trash California.